Hello everybody and welcome back here to our Weymouth series on FM20. We are back here for episode 83, still very much enjoying FM20 and this series. We are in our second season here in the Premier League and we're kicking off the episode with a matchup against Aston Villa and then the second game will be an FA Cup fifth round matchup against championship side Newcastle. We are looking to punch our ticket into the sixth round for the very first time in our history. And we have a good opportunity today. Other news, we are returning to the Bob Lucas Park for the first time this season after our expansion has finally completed. It is now an 18,750 capacity stadium and it is a sold out stadium today. Packed house to see us take on Aston Villa and hopefully seeing a nice victory today. We also have planned our next expansion that'll take place after this season ends. And then it should be completed by next September. We will be increasing our stadium capacity by about another 4,000. It'll increase it up to 22,716. So very lovely to see that. And if we switch over to our schedule view, you can see that we've only played one game since the last time. It was a 1-0 defeat against Manchester United. They scored the only goal just a minute before halftime. So you can see our performances this season are definitely better than last year. We are so close to getting good results and we're just narrowly getting defeated by the top teams now. Last season we were getting smacked down, getting like 5-0 defeats. So we're definitely improved, we're just not quite over that hump yet. But hopefully in the second half of the season we can pick up some good results and move up the table a little bit and set us up for a very nice next season. I think we have a really good foundation to the team. And hopefully with some more additions we will be challenging for some European places next season. And so speaking of the table, here is a look at it. We are still in our 15th position, kind of been there all season, it feels like. And we have a five point gap between us and 16th place Bournemouth. And we're seven points clear of that relegation zone. A couple of victories and we'll, we'll move up the table a little bit. Everton just have a four point lead over us. So we just need to put in some good performances and hopefully pick up some points here in the second half of the season. Today's opponents gives us a good opportunity. Villa down in dead last, sitting on just 10 points through 27 games. If we don't get three points today, we're going to have a serious talking to the team afterwards. But here is our team today. We have our strongest side out there today, uh, except for McKenna slots in at center back as Prokopek is out suspended. Newcastle game is just in a couple of days, but since they are a championship side, we are playing our strongest team today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this game. We are at a sold out Bob Lucas Park today, taking on a last placed Villa. And we are underway here. Come on, you Terras, and we have an early free kick. See if we can make it count here. Amici um, plays it over to Pacquia, who heads it on. Defense was a little suspect there. They do just clear it out a little bit, but Rufo picks it up. Plays it inside the Ratchet, who plays it out to Duarte. We're working the ball in well here, and it's a goal for Yoshida. What a fantastic team goal that was. Pretty much every forward player touched the ball in that play. And Yoshida fires it in there for his third goal of the season. Let's go. What a fantastic start to the game. Just a couple minutes in. And we're seeing why Villa are in last place. Got our second highlight here. Villa with a free kick deep in their position. They play it over the top. And Gomez is forced into a save. That was way too easy for Villa there. Defense caught napping. Got to defend the corner now. Gomez claims that one easily. And the highlight continues. It is our turn to push forward here. Oh, that was so close to being a penalty, but they had a great tackle right as Amici was about to pull that trigger. 
And then on the other end, Gomez comes up with a huge save. That one looked destined for the back of the net. But Gomez is there, and he claims that off of the ensuing corner, commanding his area extremely well in today's game. Another highlight, and Villa are on the ball once again. Don't like how much we're letting him, to, letting him into the game now. Gomez claims that cross, and we're looking to counterattack him here with Amici. He has a shot. The keeper had a stinker, and Rodolfi, a poor touch, sees it go out for a goal kick. And we go into halftime here with that one goal lead, thanks to that fifth-minute goal from Yoshida. Villa seemed like they got plenty of opportunities for giving them too much. We cannot afford to do that or they will capitalize and get a goal. So we need to get back on our A game here in the second half. Early corner here in the second half. Yoshida whips it in. Is that a penalty? It's going to VAR. It could be a penalty. And it is. Who's stepping up for us? It is Rodolfi stepping up. And he buries it in there. Let's go. That is his second goal of the season. Just three minutes into the second half. Giving us a two-goal lead now. Let's go. Uh, Villa have another corner. Oh, they hit the post and we clear it out. That was so nearly a goal for Villa. And that would have put him right back in the game. And Rodolfi was looking to counterattack him here. And Juan Basaka... Brings him down. We're straight into another highlight with Villa on the ball once again. Wow. That was a very nice cross. Thankfully, they hit it just over. Once again, Villa getting plenty of opportunities here early on in the second half. But we're going to make our first substitution. We're going to bring on Makingo for Arufo at right back. All right, second substitution. Sam Greenwood comes on for Pacquia. Let's go ahead and make our, our final substitution. We're going to bring on Babka for Duarte. Got a highlight playing out from a goal kick. Can we get our third goal here and really put our stamp on the game and put it the rest? Oh, okay. They're out of position. Go on, Sam Greenwood. Yeah, he squeezes it in there. Let's go. The ball was almost turned over there. The defender actually got there first, but the ball falls to Ratchic, who then picks out Sam Greenwood, who buries it in there. 3-0 to the Terras. Let's go. And we're into another highlight here. It's turned over by Villa. Uh, we turn it over with Amici. Let's keep a clean sheet, guys. Good job by Gomez. He is earning this clean sheet today. And we have another highlight. This time it is us on a throw-in. We're looking for a fourth goal now. Marseiler on this left-hand side. Kenny whipping across. It gets blocked and Villa look like they're going to get there first. And they're counter-attacking us. Oh my. If that went in, that would have been a wonderful goal by John McGinn. Thankfully, he shoots it over. It is a very impressive 3-0 victory over Aston Villa. I know they're bottom of the table, but getting a nice 3-0 victory at home at our new expanded Bob Lucas Park. Absolutely wonderful. Not really a surprise, but we're still in 15th place. Didn't matter if we won or lost. We were going to be in that position anyway. But Everton lose to Brighton. So we are now just one point behind Everton. So depending on results in our next game, we could move up into 14th position and possibly even 13th place. So things are looking good for the Terras. But I'm going to bring you guys back here in just a moment when we take on Newcastle at home in the fifth round of the FA Cup. All right, we are back just about to take on Newcastle. But before we do that, we do have a couple of transfer news to go over. First one is a new player joining us at the end of the season. This is 18-year-old Estonian centre-back Vadim Horn joining us for $2.5 once the season comes to an end. He looks like a very good, promising young centre-back. 
already has a very solid physicals. Technicals are pretty dang good in all the right spots. And his mentals are pretty solid as well. He already has six national team caps for Estonia. And he does have some first team experience in his club team as well. Uh, we have had one sale. George Scally has been sold to Jeon Book, the Korean side. We sold him for $26 million after we signed him on a free transfer this summer. So what an absolute phenomenal piece of business we just did right there. Uh, when we signed him, I definitely had him in our plans. But Brumer was performing better than him. And then we got Mattia Rodolfi. So George Scali quickly found himself as the third choice. He wasn't happy about it. And was making a very big deal about it. So we put him up on the transfer market. And we absolutely got a steal of a sale for $26 million. And that broke our record for the biggest player sale in our history. Team News got a lot of rotation like I already mentioned we would do. Gomez keeps his place in goal. Uh, Pontus Dahlberg just coming back from injury. He will not be our cup bully today. Schlotterbeck is out suspended today, so uh, McKenna keeps his place at center back. Prokobek comes back in. Let's go ahead and get this one underway. I'm guessing it's a sold out crowd. I didn't really check. Uh, let's also check and see where Newcastle is. They were in first when we got the draw, and they still are in first. So a very strong Newcastle side who did just get relegated this past season. So we already know they have good players still. And obviously performing good in the championship. But I think we will get the edge here today. Fingers crossed. And we are underway here in the fifth round of the FA Cup. Come on you Terras. And it's an early free kick for the Terras. Oh it's bundled over the line. Sam Greenwood off of that Lewis Howe shot. Header whatever. It fell to Sam Greenwood. And he easily slots that in there. That is what you need to do. Ricardo Rodriguez putting it in a dangerous position. 1-0. First highlight for Newcastle. Can we win the ball back? They play it back to their center back. Play it forward now to Johnston on this left-hand side. They're looking a little dangerous here. Get out to him. He's overrun that and we pick the ball up. There we go. Over to the top to Tom Boomer. Use that speed. Slot that in there. Oh, it's saved just wide. Oh, I thought that might have a chance of nestling in there. But Rodriguez to take this corner. He whoops it in. Just headed away as it was about to fall to Prokovec. And it eventually comes to nothing. Over in to another highlight right away. Newcastle in a dangerous position and they get the equalizer. Tim Smith with his 19th goal of the season. And we're just at the end of February. Dang, that was too easy. Center backs not picking him up. Good cross in. And we're into another highlight right away. Can we get a quick answer? Oh no. Tim Smith on the ball once again. Gomez is there to stop it this time. But we have a corner to deal with now. And it is whipped in. McKinna heads it away. Can we get a counterattack here? Oh, come on. Give him a yellow card for that. He knew exactly what he was doing. And we go into halftime. Tied up here. One all. It's a very even game. Hopefully we can come out victors at the end of this next 45 minutes. Definitely want to avoid a replay for sure. And we're underway here in the second half and we're straight into a highlight. They turn it over off of that kickoff. It'd be wonderful to get a, a goal right into the second half. Tom Brumer is there. Let's go. Not even a minute into the second half. And Tom Brumer slots in the second goal of the day. Putting us back on top. What a ball this was. By McKenna and then Stockbridge and Tom Broomer wasn't going to miss from there. 2-1 to the Terras. 
Newcastle with a free kick of their own now. Let's not give them a second goal here. Oh, Tom Broomer picks up that mistake and he slots it in there. Let's go. That center back has had a stinker there. A lapse of concentration and Broomer is there to pick him off. Mm. Two goals in seven minutes for Tom Broomer. That is what we love to see. 3-1 to the Terras now. And we have another highlight. Newcastle on it and they turn it over off of a throw-in. They are falling apart here in the second half. We're working this ball very well here. Looking for our fourth goal. Oh, that goes just over off of the woodwork. We are going to make a substitution here. We're going to move Chow back in to center back for James McKenna. And we're going to bring on Nikola Racic for McKenna. And that midfield space now. And we'll hold off on our final two substitutions for now. But I think Rufo is going to come on from Makingo here in just a few moments. We do have a highlight here before we make that sub. Tom Broomer for the hat trick and he gets it. Oh, it's going to be offside. That's got to be very close. Oh, he's offside. He was standing offside from the free kick. He didn't need to be there. But we have another highlight. Come on, Makingo. Is it going to go all the way? Ah, uh, he did, but he shoots it straight into the hands of Jack Butland. And we'll go ahead and make our final two substitutions. Rufo is going to come on for Makingo. And we're going to bring on Amichi for Pakia. Another highlight for the Terras. We're looking for our fourth goal still. Playing it around here, looking for an opening. There we go. Rodriguez, can you whip it across? He picks out Greenwood, who picks out Stockbridge. Oh, he hits the crossbar again. It's still on here. Oh, Rufa with the shot. It falls out to Rodriguez on the left-hand side, and it comes to nothing. Stockbridge, so unlucky there to hit the, the crossbar post for the second time today. Oh, let's not give Newcastle another goal here. That would really put some pressure on for the final few moments of the game. Gomez with an acrobatic save. Just calm things down here. No need to rush it. Just a few moments left in this game. But you know what? We're going to push for a fourth goal here. Well, that was a ball. Amici has a poor touch, but it comes to Tom Broomer who gets his hat trick. Let's go. A second half hat trick for Tom Broomer. He is loving this game against Newcastle. Come on. That is what we love to see. A nice 4-1 victory here against Newcastle. Clearly onside. And we're pushing for a fifth goal now. Can we do it? That would be absolutely wonderful for this sold-out crowd today. Greenwood looking to get in on the action. And he does. An assist for Tom Broomer to go with that three goals. Sam Greenwood getting the fifth goal of the day for us. What a performance from the team. We have really turned it on here in the second half. I let him know I wasn't happy we were drawing at halftime. And what a response. Are we going to get a six goal here? We might. Amici whips it in for Sam Greenwood and it goes just wide. Newcastle have absolutely crumbled here in the final 45 minutes of this game. Surely the ref's going to blow for full time here any second. Well, we're still playing on here and Newcastle are on the ball. Let's play to the whistle and let's not give up a second goal here. Good job, Rodriguez, and the ref blows for full time. A 5-1 victory for the Terras. Sam Greenwood with two goals and Tom Broomer with the hat trick. What a performance from the Terras. 
Look at the stat. We really turned it on there in the second half. Let's go. We are into the sixth round of the FA Cup for the very first time in our history. Let's go. Okay, here we go. We are about to do the quarterfinal draw for the FA Cup. You can see Man City and Man United, potential opponents in our next round, as well as Arsenal and Chelsea. Let's hopefully get uh, Sunderland, Brighton, or Crystal Palace to give us a chance. What do we got? We get an away draw against Chelsea. Okay, that is going to be a tough one. So last time we played them, it was that narrow 1-0 defeat. So you never know, it is definitely a possibility. Any team that gets this far in the competition has a chance of winning it. Let's hopefully be that team. When do we play them? We play them in just a couple of games. So that's definitely going to be our next episode. Probably kicking off the episode with that game. And then we'll face off against fellow London team, Arsenal. So that's going to be a very exciting episode coming up next time. So make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and you have that notification bell on so you don't miss out on that video and other videos coming to the channel in the future. If you have enjoyed this episode, make sure you leave the video a like down below. And until next time, it's been your Boyd147.